Uh, Carlos Silva with the Lubbock Avalanche Journal. Uh, Zaire and just all the Dallas guys, what's it like just to kind of come back home and be able to see some friends and family and just kind of, if you, if all three of you could just kind of speak on that real quick. I was very excited. I'm just glad to be home, but I just came here to play basketball. Uh, yeah, I agree with what he said. Just excited and good to be home. Uh, don't really get to see too much friends and family. Been pretty busy, but glad to be here. What's it all about playing in front of fans, uh, friends and family, so it's a big deal. Okay, let's move over to the right side here on the outside aisle. Adam Grosspart, Dallas Morning News, Zaire. Uh, how do you feel your game has developed your freshman season? I feel like it developed a little bit because I've been working hard on it and when you work hard, it translates. Other questions, okay. Here on uh, our right, toward the middle. Zach Smith, Stephen Hawkins, um, with the AP. Um, talk about just being back and what the time away from the game was like for you this season and know how different are you and, and how rested maybe are you now going into this final stretch? Uh, being away, it's just, it was pretty tough. Uh, spent a lot of time just working hard trying to get back on the court. Uh, and I, I'm just blessed to be back. In the middle on the left. Will McKay with Red Raider Sports. Uh, Keenan, what is it about this SFA team and the way they kind of try to disrupt you in the half court that, that really sticks out the way they kind of try to trap ball screens and all that? Um, they're similar to, you know, South Carolina and West Virginia type teams. And we know that they force a lot of turnovers in the half court and where, whether it's full court pressure in the ha uh, half court. And they just try to make it really tough for teams. Okay, we'll go back on the left side. Uh, Justin, I guess just in terms of what y'all have to do defensively against Stephen F. Austin, I guess just generally, I guess what what, what kind of stands out to you again, uh, about them and what you all have to do to kind of slow them down a little bit? Uh, they execute their sets really well. Uh, I mean, mainly for us, it's ball pressure, uh, being a help defense, siding, you know, a lot of stuff just being, you know, what we are, you know, a defensive team and just doing our tactics that we've been doing all year. Uh, but, you know, SFA is, is a really talented team. Uh, they execute their offense really well. Uh, well coached team, so it uh, should be fun on Thursday. Let's go in the back. Jonah Javad, WFAA. Uh, Keenan, what was your reaction to seeing that you guys got to play in Dallas for the opening round, and what did your friends and family say when they found out the news? Uh, it was like a celebration. Uh, we were all happy, excited to be able to play in front of friends and family and have such a, uh, we know that it's going to be a good crowd for us, and hopefully that gives us an advantage. Go ahead. Yeah, and for the rest of you guys, uh, the ability to come back here to some extent, is it like a home game of sorts for you, the, the comforts of home, being able to come back to the DFW area? All three of the others? Uh, I mean, Stephen F. Austin being the Texas team also, uh, we expect them to have some fans here as well. And uh, I feel like it's a homecoming, but I, don't, I wouldn't consider it a home game. You want Zach? Okay. Zach? Uh, same. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it should be just half and half. should be a pretty good vibe for both teams. Uh, I'm not from Texas, but, uh, you know, I love the fans. Uh, but, yeah, you know, it should be a, a good turnout, you know, for both teams. Uh, and I know, you know, we have a great fan base, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see uh, just the number of people, you know, Tech brings, you know, to American Airlines. Okay, let's uh, go over here onto the middle of the right side. This is for Keenan, Stephen Hawkins. You um, obviously was Zach missed his time. You had your time where you were not 100%. Just talk about where this team is right now. You've got through the Big 12 and you've got through all that. It's got to prepare you for the NCAA and you've got pretty much a full roster right now. Talk about that. Um, I would say that helped us in a ways um, of, you know, coming together, you know, people having to step up and take bigger roles and, that, that, that brings out, you know, the best in people and show them what they can really do. And especially now that we're, you know, back and healthier, you know, certain people can play like that still. And, you know, once we got all our pieces together, it's just, you know, we're a better team. So we just look forward to people, um, you know, playing their best and, you know, getting back to what we do. Guys, well, let's move to the left. Uh, Zaire, just uh, obviously being a freshman, just having your first experience here, I guess, what's it like? And, uh, I guess, is it not necessarily that big just because you've been on a big stage before, like Madison Square Garden and previous games? I'm just learning from Madison Square Garden. I'm just living in the moment right now. Just joined it. 
Okay, let's go back to the extreme right. Uh, Zaire, what would you say was the biggest challenge you faced as a freshman, and how did you overcome that? Well, challenging the speed of the game. I feel like the speed of the game is very fast, so I just had to overcome that. Other questions for the guys? Okay. Uh, keep Get Keenan, on the left. Keenan and Zach, I guess just for you guys, how, how important was the rest for you all just to kind of obviously just kind of get your minds right and just kind of get the bodies right so far? Keenan, we'll let you go first. Yeah, um, i say it was big. Um, no, I, I say it helped a lot, me sitting out of the game and resting and also these breaks in between the last few games was, has been good. And also, you know, being on the sideline and kind of watching the game from afar, it really helps, you know, helps you break down stuff. So when you get back, it feels like it makes the game a lot easier. Uh, yeah, I feel like the rest was extremely important. Uh, just being in the training room, getting your body right before you go back out there. Okay, up front here on this right side. Yeah, uh, Kenan, Zach, neither one of you guys came from real touted basketball powerhouses in high school, but every year your game has gotten better. Every year you've gotten better. Talk a little bit about what it's been like to progress from you know not being in all world in high school, but it's gotten better and better and better every year. Um, it's just like Coach Beer says all the time. It's just a process. Um, during the summers, during the year, you know, just stay committed and stay working. So it's been a um, you know a process from being at the lowest point of Texas Tech basketball to you know now one of the highest points. So it's just always going to be a process, and you know you can't let up. Uh, Kenny couldn't have said it better, just uh, sticking to the process, uh, trying to expand the game and do the best you can. Okay, middle, right. Zaire, obviously this season began with quite a few freshmen, quite a few seniors on this team. You guys have developed and kind of built a continuity in chemistry, but talk about where it's kind of set the foundation for moving past. And I know you guys are focused on this tournament, but talk about how it set a good foundation for this program moving forward after this year. Just go learn from the seniors, follow in their footsteps, do what they we just we always ask them questions, so we just follow in their footsteps. Any other questions for our student athletes? Okay. Extreme left. Uh Keenan, j just one more time. I know you kinda mentioned it about the process. How long do you feel like this moment for you and Zach and kind of all the seniors and Justin and Zach, if you want to kind of chime in as well? What's it been like either at the the off season or just when you first started at Texas Tech that that's been for you and what's it been like just to kind of obviously get all these uh, number three seeds kind of play in front of your friends and family what what's that process been like for y'all um I said the ride has felt long in the moment but then you realize like how how fast it's going by but um you know this last go around has been amazing and you know I'm just not ready for it to end so you know we just really got to battle and keep it going you said you wanted the other seniors as well Okay, Zach, we'll let you go. Uh, yeah, like you said, it's just been a long process. Uh, just feels like, I mean, we're here now. Just got to live in the moment and take advantage of the opportunity. And Justin? I mean, yeah, pretty much what these guys said. But, you know, it feels like yesterday we were just moving into the dorms with each other and, you know, just getting our first shots up in the gym. And But now, you know, we're seniors into NCAA tournament. So it's, it's a fast turnaround. And people try to tell you that, you know, college goes by fast, but you really don't realize that until, you know, you're finally at the end of, you know, your row. So uh, like Kenny said, we're going to try to make this last as long as possible and just play our hearts out.